Hello there, everybody. This is Montgomery Collections back with some cool family history and some great World War II medals here. Everything you see here was my grandfather's that he passed to me after he died. And now I'm trying to keep it up. You know, I'm uh, reorganizing the medals right now, making sure everything's there. Uh, we were missing a few of his medals. We did order some replacements. I'll get to that in a minute. But before I get to all this other stuff, I just want to show you one of the original copies of one of his separation papers from the military. If we look up really close here, it'll say uh, decorations and citations that he has the American Theater Ribbon, the European African Middle Eastern Ribbon, Good Conduct Medal, Purple Heart, Bronze Star, and Victory Medal. And right at the bottom here, it says lapel button issued. I'll get to that in a moment about uh, what I think that might be. So that's just some proof there. And we also have some other papers here. These are copies of papers that the government had sent us. Just as proof um, that he was awarded the Purple Heart. It says right here that he was awarded it September 22nd, 1943. And then the next paper we have here say that, uh, you know, records indicate he was given his combat infantry badge as well as the bronze star for heroic action on July 26, 1944. So those are just some cool things there just to show you a little bit of proof. <laughs> but um, let's take a look at a few things that we got here. The first thing that we have is... Company M. This is Company M at civili Civilian Military Training Camp, Fort Dix, New Jersey, in 1940. And at the top, you can see that my grandfather marked his scowling face. <laughs> He's really defined there. You can definitely tell that's him. So um, over here, we have a picture of him and his brothers. This might be around, if I had to guess, uh, 1924, 25, because he's all the way on the left, and he can't be more than maybe three years old. Those are his three brothers, and I believe maybe all of them were also in World War II. I know at least one or two of them were. An 8th Division sticker, unused, which will never be used, of course. These are his ribbons. We'll get to that in a moment. Another thing that I had here, which I'm not 100% sure, this was a pin that I found in the box of my great-grandparents' stuff. However, I believe it might have belonged to him. It says, Tace at Face, and it's, it's some kind of uh, artillery, I can't remember exactly, maybe 25th Artillery Regiment, 22nd? Maybe someone will correct me. I can't, I can't exactly explain where that came from, but it might be his. This is a World War II Victory Medal, a replacement that we ordered. I never took it out of the packaging. But interestingly enough, my great-grandparents were also entitled to this, and it is also missing. But I believe that I will hang it up with the rest of my medals here. Just an extra little thing we have here. Just a cool little 25-cent paper piece, fractional currency, that belonged to my grandfather. He had it laminated, so we keep it with his effects. Why not? Alright guys, so let's start with the actual medals. I know you've all been waiting for that, huh? <laughs> so at the top here, we have your basically uh, your basic U.S. Army proficiency badge. And the top here indicates that he was an expert in rifle, hand grenade, bayonet, and machine gun. So pretty impressive, right? 8th Division patch, silver star for gallantry in combat, good conduct medal, his dog tags, Purple Heart, Bronze Star. That's his first army patch. Super teeny tiny 8th Division lapel pin. And up here you can see the ruptured duck lapel pin, which is what I think that paper might have been referencing when it said lapel pin issued. Could be wrong about that one. Moving down here, we see his combat infantry badge. Down here we have a picture of him and his civilian military training camp marksman pin. Down here we have what looks like 
you know, maybe an infantry belt buckle that he wore. And then I'm not sure what the story behind this piece is. It says uh, 1940 to 1945. I believe that might have been something that his friends made for him, maybe out of shrapnel. I, I'm not sure 100%. Then up here, of course, there's a picture of them probably in France. Uh, that might have been when he was an MP. A couple other things that I wanted to show you up here. <clears throat> A few of you may have seen this from my video on my grandfather's helmet. Uh, he was shot in the head. He survived at that time and went back into battle afterwards. But these items were took from the body of the guy that shot my grandfather. What we have on the left here is sort of a winter hunger drive tinny. Uh, I looked it up. It's it's had to do with the uh, winter hunger relief effort for the German people. And as you can see at the bottom, it says 1934 to 1935, so it's pre-war. And right here, someone was gracious to comment on what exactly this pin was. It is a Hitler Youth German Labor Front pin. And those were the uh, Hitler Youth that constructed fortifications, you know, they repaired bombed out cities, etc. And then, of course, right here what we have is a Nazi Eagle visor cap pin. And it actually still has one of the prongs in it. I just found this recently. Whether or not it's from the exact same soldier, I do not know. So let's move on down here to his, uh, to his ribbons. This is where he gets maybe a little confusing. You can see that a lot of these ribbons match to a lot of the medals that he has. These two, in fact, were replacements that we got, I believe, for the bronze and silver star, respectively, there. But what I did not know is the records that I have do not indicate he was awarded an air medal of any sort. There are also two good conduct medals here, two American campaign, or uh, sorry, two good conduct ribbons here, and two American campaign ribbons. There's also two um, European, African, Middle Eastern campaign ribbons there, but you do see that he has the three stars on one of them, indicating he was given that award three times. You know, then you got your World War II victory ribbon your purple heart ribbon, and I believe this was the original ribbon for the Bronze Star. So that's it, guys. That's everything that I have right there. Those are all of the awards that my grandfather was given during World War II. Some of them might be missing, not 100% sure. Uh, it's really hard to find out all the information. I, I believe some of the information that the government had on him was destroyed in a fire. Uh, others were probably just burnt in routine burnings. I don't know. But it's really hard to put together a timeline of what exactly happened to him over there because, you know, uh, he, of course he didn't really talk about it too much. What he did talk about was, you know, how he got his Purple Heart, a little bit about D-Day, and other stuff. But I will be making a video very shortly uh, about some of some of the information that I have about him. An interview that I did when I was in sixth grade with him before he passed. And some other, maybe a timeline that I'm trying to put together of where he battled, when he was sent back to England for his injury, and when he was sent back to battle in the Battle of the Bulge, I believe. But that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it, as always. Have a good day.